Also called Jubilee Day, Freedom Day and Emancipation Day, June 19th has come to commemorate the end of U.S. slavery and is most known as Juneteenth. After President Abraham Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation in 1863, it took several years for enslavement to end in the most remote Confederate state, Texas. It is a lesser-known fact that the emancipation applied only to the Confederate states, the 11 states that seceded from the Union in a state's rights plea to ensure they could keep black people as slaves. The last place in the Confederacy still enslaving black people was Galveston, Texas, where Confederate soldiers held a firm grip. Some historians theorize that the news of emancipation was either withheld or Confederate soldiers with guns forced continued enslavement. On June 19, 1865, Union soldiers brought the news to enslaved black Texans that they could go free. Newly freed black Americans celebrated their liberation on that very June 19 in 1865. Since that day, the tradition has grown and includes black community gatherings and political rallies. Yet, while Juneteenth is a major historical event in African American history, it has largely been excluded from classroom history books and the American education system as a whole. We're still feeling the after-effects of black codes, Jim Crow and exclusionary laws. That hasn't changed for us, Washington Representative Melanie Morgan said. I'm excited that this will be a holiday that will start educating people and educating our youth. Morgan sponsored House Bill 1016 to make Juneteenth a state legal holiday, effective in 2022. This means it will be a paid day off for state employees and some state contract workers, except for school district employees. The application of this law is limited to state employees. It is up to private employers to decide what paid days off, if any, they give employees. Among Washington's big businesses, Amazon does give its employees Juneteenth as a paid holiday. Microsoft has taken a different approach, making it a day of listening for employees. Juneteenth is not a federal staff holiday, despite four bills proposing it and a 2018 Senate resolution. Several municipal lawmakers in Washington, including the Metropolitan King County Council and the Port of Seattle, made Juneteenth a holiday for employees in recent years. Morgan wants the whole state of Washington to participate in celebrating Juneteenth, and she hopes eventually to look around and see people across Washington gathering together for picnics or family gatherings and block parties. I see that there are parts of the state that have been celebrating this, but now it's going to be on a wider scale. I see people already planning things now and I'm excited," Morgan said. Morgan said HB 1016 faced little pushback in the Washington House and Senate, passing with overwhelming support. I wasn't really having any backlash," Morgan said. Morgan had tried to pass a similar bill in 2020.